Hey guys, Dark Prometheus here. We are back with another episode of our Chicago Cubs franchise, this time going against the Mets. And you see here, we are under 500. This is going to be a game with the Mets. It's going to be difficult against some of their star pitching, but their hitting is not all that great. We will see Jacob deGrom, 6-3, 14 starts, 2.87 ERA. Well, this one, we do not have our work cut out for us. DeGrom is one of the best pitchers in the league and continues to still be. So here we go with Castro. That's up in the zone, swinging at that one. And that'll be our first out. So here with Bryant, and that's inside four seam. Just wasn't seeing the ball very well out of DeGrom's hand in this game. So we need to get something going. We're going to see Chad Crow out here, 2 and 5. Not very good. And well, 4.66 ERA. We need to get something going here. But this one is out in the left, and well, it'll be a leadoff single to start the game. So it's already not looking great. Our pitching is slowly the things that we're having issues with, as this one's bounced off Santana's leg. And so there's 2 1 and no out. So this one's out in a right. This will be the first one, a lazy fly ball. Runners will not be able to advance. Crow here, up in the zone, but able to get a fly ball out in the left. Schwarber will have that one in and throw it to second. We got Hap playing today at second, I believe, and we have Mata playing at third, as this one is popped up to Riz. And that will end your inning Crow out of the jam early. But the thing is how to get to the ground. Here full count. And Will Schwarber has to protect the plate there. That's a 95 mile an hour fastball up in the zone. So here's Mata. Another four seam up in the zone. Just about the same place he's tried to catch up with it last time. The man on first as we allowed a walk here, Schwarber. This, he will actually misjudge this. And so this will be thrown in and, well, this is just something I just completely missed. It will be an error over there on the left. And this one will be down the line. This looks like it will score one run. As Schwarber has this one in and thrown to third. And we got base runners on the corners with no outs. So this one's over to second, and good grab there. Will be a liner to Hap, trying to get something going to where we don't allow this run, but it won't matter, as this one will be in center, and Castro does not have the arm to prevent the run from scoring. So we're already down to nothing, as this one's a single out in center. And again, runners... Second and first, two outs. This one will be down in the zone, getting a slow ball over too short. And Crow gets out of the inning, but not before the Mets put up two on the board. Mets are one of the best pitching teams in the league. And this is why. DeGrom, another strikeout. DeGrom just looking great. 2-2 two -two count. And well, Castro is chasing that one. DeGrom, 51 pitches, though, and 64 with two on here. The Cubs trying to threaten. And that one will be inside. So that'll be a slider. Luckily, we did not swing at that one, but the payoff pitch, a curveball outside. Schwarber, good eye there, draws the walk, bases loaded with one out. We made DeGrom pitch to us as we got into about the second or third inning. The first inning we were pitching a lot, but we'll see if Garth Mata can do something here. And it's a four seam up and inside. The second pitch, curveball up in the zone. He's going to pitch Mata up in the zone all day long. This one, the curveball though, something I wasn't suspecting. And that was a curveball down inside the zone. Next one will be Story and we get 
a call there, but Story has to protect on that 3-2 and two count. That one was inside the zone. And, well, that's a lazy fly ball out the left. Doesn't matter, though, as the Mets get out of that jam. That was probably our best chance to score against the ground until we get to this bullpen. So, Crow, here we change the view a little bit because it was not helping in the zoomed-up view. So, here, Chad Crow, breaking ball outside, getting... The ball is right over to second. And here is Hap putting one out in left field. Getting a single there. One out. And there's Castro drawing a walk. He drew two walks in this game. But he did strike out twice. So the ground going against Hap. And well, that won't matter. The other one at first is actually Trevor Story, I believe. As Chris Bryant's going to come out here and pinch hit, but that will be down the line. And this was just a bad pitch that I swung at. I'm still getting used to the batting, but that's no excuse for that one as DeGrom gets away from that jam without really doing much. As this one's a fly ball out in the left, Schwarber has this one. And he almost throws it away, and there's this weird thing here. Where we get him to slide and we actually get a double play out of this. Very strange. As the runner that went over to third would have actually made it. But I don't know why you send the runner at first. We do get out of that inning. But Harper with that slider inside. Gets him looking. To ground though. Again walk Schwarber. Schwarber and Castro having some luck in walking. But that's about it. The biggest thing, though, is they change pitchers here. I thought DeGrom had this game pretty much locked down, but we made him exceed the pitch count. We made him get a lot of full counts, at least five or six in the game, and that increased his pitch counts dramatically. So we're going against Paul Seawald. Seawald, even though he's a 5-1 record, 7.71 ERA, and maybe we can get to this bullpen. This Mets bullpen is not the greatest. It's all revolving around their starters, but 3-2 count there is. We draw another walk. So here it is with 2-1. Both of those being walks. We're going to have Trevor Story come up. See if Trevor Story can get something going. 45 RBIs, 16 homers. And well, neither him or Baez can't get anything going. Story did strike out there, and Baez strikes out there. So we're going to come out and put our bullpen to work here. As this one's off the glove. And just wow. That's Rob Bass that took one actually off the head, and he will be concussed, so he'll come out. Other than that, that's all that happened in that inning as top of the seven, Contreras has one out here in a right center, a single to start the inning. We're coming up with Castro, and well, we're fishing for that changeup. Almora hit hard into center, but that's not really hit hard anywhere else but at the center fielder. So here next, Bryant. That changeup. Seawall, it got weird because his changeup is down in the mid 70s and then his fastball is in the 80s, and it got really weird. We came up with the rest of the bullpen. So it's a swing and a miss there against Familia. Familia, one of the better save leaders in the game right now. Baez will have one in shallow center field. So we got a runner on at the top of the ninth. We need to get something going here. Contreras, that is a slider outside the zone. Trying to make things happen, and well, we're fishing. Next one is Castro, and Castro will have one just at second, and the Mets will take this first game from us 2-0. to zero. We had a couple chances, but DeGrom is just great in this bullpen. They just put out enough to really hassle us. So we're going to see Hernandez out here against us, this one. And Hernandez has had a decent time this season as well. 6-3, 2.42 ERA. 
It's all about Felix Hernandez, DeGrom, and Steinegaard still on this team as well. And this is why this pitching staff is so good because of the starters. But we're going to say Hernandez pitched to us. So we take that first leadoff walk. Baez has a fair amount of walks this season, but not putting the ball in play. We try to steal with Baez. Well, that doesn't, that doesn't work very well. I was looking for a hit and run there, and it, well, it wouldn't have mattered because Hat hits it right to the center, uh, to, the, to the left fielder there. Harper just staring at that off-speed pitch. That one should have been crushed and probably out of the park, but can't do much against it. Cal Hendricks. Three and five, still having some issues. Four point three two ERA, not getting decisions. But the biggest thing is Hendricks had a good season last year. He was nineteen and five, and here with O two counts, this one's going to be out in right field. Harper's going to throw it in, and that will hold the runner. Good throw by Harper to get it in quickly. Trying to limit the damage. Two two count. Change up outside corner. Conforto just cannot get that one. That was completely whiffed. He was too far ahead of it. Schwarber here will have one over and well. Against the shift, it's right next, right to. Uh, it's Cano over there, I believe. But here against Hernandez, no big deal. It's the pitcher. But we're going to have another duel out here today if this keeps on going as Contreras can't catch up that one. We'll have Hap come out here. Hap, let's see. Lazy chopper right back to Hernandez. Easy play at first. And so Hendricks out here will have one up at the eyes. And this one will still be hit. Maybe a shallow one out right center, but still two outs. This will be in center fielder. It'll be thrown in, and the runner will not try to score. So, here, not a lot of speed out here. And this one's over the head of Chris Bryant. The runner will test a throw, and he'll get in there. That'll score two on that single. Trying to limit the damage here like we always do. 0-2 count. This is probably the third 0-2 count we've had to the last... Three batters. Well, we finally get an out out of it. Just cannot get any ground balls inside. Can't keep it in the park. Or just, frankly, can't can't make fielding errors. But finally, Baez out here. We finally get a hit. And a lead off of an inning. This is the top of the sixth. We need to get something going. Hap. Well, of course, ground to a double play. And the Hap really crushes that attempt at any rally. So Chris Bryant will have one up the middle. So if we would have had a guy on second, possibly we have runners in the corners. But either way, with Harper, Harper hits it in deep left field. This will be from McCutcheon who's playing out in center. Maybe that scores one right there, but too bad we did not play it like that. We're in the top of the seventh. And Riz is going to hit one. He's going to crush this in center field. And that's going to be just off the wall. I thought that was one for Rizzo. Just under the stripe. Now here's Schwarber. Schwarber crushes this one out in left center. We're going to send everyone, and that one's off the wall as well. We possibly could have had a run. Luckily, there is no outs, and runners are only second, third, but possibly two attempts on a homer. And this, though, Bryant, even though actually that's going to be story, and the throw is offline. We got runners at the corners with no outs. Mets will go to their bullpen. Hernandez had a great game before that, but two big hits, one air, and it's a two to one game. 
But we're going to see Seawall out here. We had some issues with Seawall last, last game. This game, though, not right now. As Almora puts one out there to tie the ball game, we go back to runners at corners. Astoria is safe at third. And we're going to keep on putting the pressure here. Next one, Contreras. It's to be deep in center field. We're going to send the runner. And this will be an offline throw. It won't matter. And we take our first lead of the series. Mind you, we're under 500 right now. We're battling for our lives as Baez cranks one to left. And, well, that'll be an easy fly ball. And I did not notice that. I thought that was going to be over the head of the left fielder. But it just kind of died down. Bottom of the seventh, though. Mets tied up. Just cannot keep the ball in the ballpark. Bullpen, though, gives up this one to Rosario. Rosario, of course, moving over from the Twins to the Mets. This is not the greatest hitting team. The thing is, it's the, one of the better pitching teams. This is what just pass an outreach glove of Rizzo. Harper having issues digging it out of the line there. And we allow the Mets to go up. 4-3. to three. Conforto has that one down the line. And, well, this one's out to left and caught by Schwarber. So... We're back down to a one-run deficit. We got Hap Harper and Bryant up, I believe. And Hap will lead it off with a single left field. Hap is valuable because he is a switch hitter. And that's the only reason why we're trying to hit him out of this jam. As Harper, actually this is Bryant. Harper's up next, but Bryant hits a single. Now it's up to Harper. Harper hits one high fly ball, got too much under it. And we aren't going to test Hap here. I thought it was pretty deep, but I don't think that was deep enough. Riz. Riz puts one out in left. This time we will send Hap. And Hap will slide, and he'll be safe. He sneaks under the tag. So the tying run is 90 feet away. It is Schwarber. Schwarber grounds to second. Easy play for Suspedes and the boys in the infield. Going the ninth. Story hits one. Lazy fly ball into right center. That was the first pitch we saw from Familia there. And there's the first out. Next one, Sang. Right to Familia. Top of the ninth. Trying to get something going. And then there's going to be Contreras. It looks like it took a funny hop off the mound towards second. And that will be the last out of the game. And we lose to this one. So we're going to go in the third game. This will be the last game of the series. We're going against Steven Matz. Steven Matz is even better. 9-3. Jesus. As we start out with Baez clubbing this one at right center field. And Baez having some good hits now, starting to heat up in this leadoff position. Thing is, we need the batters behind him to do much of something, as Trevor Story doesn't do much with that. And we're going to come out to Bryant. Bryant will advance Baez, but will not be able to beat that one out. Now it's up to Harper. Harper hits it in left. This isn't get against any shift, but this is in foul territory anyways. So it wouldn't have mattered. And that ends any scoring threat of Baez. So we're going to see Cole Hamels out here. The reason we're going to have Cole Hamels is Jake Arrieta is injured. We did put him on uh, the IR. And it is a long-term injury. We won't see Arietta for the next couple of months. I believe it was a knee injury. But here we get McCutcheon to come out here and do something. Runner trying to steal. will be popped up in the infield. And Bryant will make a move there. The injury to Arietta is his planting foot, which makes it pretty difficult to pitch off the mound. 
with any leg injury, but at this point, he's going to be out at least 60 days as he pulled his hamstring. But here, Schwarber into another double play. This is the issue we have a lot in these Mets games is into double plays, knocking the ball to the infield. This was another one out here, but this one was thrown out in the outfield, and I couldn't really send the runner over at third just to delay ability to do it. Logically, we would have had the runners advance two bases, but Story will go into a double play. The double play doesn't happen if I'm able to advance the runners off that. So Hamels out here will be throwing that one on the outside, and that will be down the line. Take a funny hop. Harper having issues gloving it, but does get it in. There's two outs in the bottom of the third. Trying to not have a score here, and this one's ground right over to Baez. That's Cano, I believe, in that ground ball. We're going to have Bryant, and Bryant's going to smoke this one left. It may have a chance, and that one is gone. We finally get a run in this game. We finally get a home run. We haven't done much, and Bryant, that'll be his 20th of the season. He smoked that one 107 miles an hour velocity off the bat. And Bryant gives us the lead. Schwarber against the shift. Puts this one out in left field. This will be extra bases bouncing off the wall near the foul pole. And that will be a two-out double. Contreras out here. Contreras. Putting one out in center field, we will send Schwarber. And it looked like the ball died out in center field. Just not a lot of spin once it hit the grass. And Schwarber is able to take advantage of that and get in. Now here's Hamels. And the Hamels will have a blooper out in left. And the Hamels even joining the show, keeping this fourth inning alive. Next up, Amora. Amora with that breaking ball will smoke this one out in center, but... Easily playable for McCutcheon out here. He's playing a little deep. Uh, actually, McCutcheon is shifted over into right field today. So he's normally in center. And well, in the bottom of the fourth, we they have two on. This is going to be over Riz. We have Harper throw it in. And the bases are loaded with one out. Trying to maintain any sense of the lead. And there's a fastball. Hamels blows that one right by him. And we do get out of the inning with a ground ball after that. So here, Baez smoking another one in right center. And this will be another double for Baez. Just starting to heat up here in that leadoff position. And this is exactly what we needed. But we need our other guys to pitch. Or not pitch, but hit better. We do need better pitching, but we need better hitting. As Bryant, this is over to second. We'll advance by as a third. Trying to get some insurance runs here. Harper just did not hit it square on the bat. Harper does almost run that out, but doesn't matter much. As we see Story try to, to turn a double play with Baez, and there it is. Great double play by these two. Hamels gets out of the inning. And we're going to see him bat in the sixth. Hamels puts one down the line. This will be his second hit of the game. And this will be a double for Cole Hamels. Contreras over at third. Keeps the inning alive. Trying to get insurance. Baez next up. And Baez a single up the middle. And this will continue the inning. We did score two previously with a single... With the same type of single. Now Trevor Story out there on the right side. This is going to score at least one more. And now Trevor Story has got a double. We have opened up this game 5 to nothing. Next one is Bryant. And Bryant out in left center. And that will score two more. Bryant will now have a double. We have opened this game against this Mets bullpen. Steve Harper. Harper hits one deep, but easily playable in center. 
And well, this one got out of control quickly in the sixth inning for the Mets. That's our best game so far. Cole Hamels, though, will give up the shutout with a breaking ball that's crushed out in left field. But really, the Mets won't catch up with the catch up with us on that one. That's McCutcheon cranking that one. At the end of the day, we have a big, big game. That's a two-run shot there. Kemp was on base as well. But we take this one, and we'll have to see the injury to Arietta and how it impacts really our team. We are going up against the Cardinals. We are nine games back. We need to claw back and fight. So we're close to the All-Star break. We got another one with St. Louis. So we're going to see a lot of St. Louis series because it seems like they're the team to beat. And, well, we need to catch up. So I will see you guys next time. Go ahead, comment, like, subscribe. Tell me how you're liking this so far. And I will see you guys next time as we move into a series with the Cardinals and, well, the All-Star game. Later, guys.